Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here with an exciting day. Today we're gonna to do a little up close and personal uh, with the Factor Ostro. If you've been following along in the channel, you'll know I spent a little bit of time getting this bike prepared with some paint protection film, had a couple parts that I ordered in that were aftermarket, and I uh, just needed to kind of spend the time to get it, get it, uh, get it done. So today we're just gonna kind of use uh, the opportunity to kind of go through some of the angles, the frame itself. Uh, I have not ridden it, just finished it last night and going to, uh, to try to get on it today and kind of give my first ride impressions comparing it to my uh, System 6. So just to kind of go through the, the bike here, you can see the layup, beautiful carbon work. Kind of wanted to use this opportunity to kind of show some off some of the angles here so a lot of the videos online don't really spend too much time getting up up close and personal we'll call it so I kind of wanted to use that opportunity today to, to do that because the bike is just stunning really nice black ink matte carbon cages going into the cork D0 power meter and crank arms that match the frame almost to the T. I'm going to go in with an 1125 Dura Ace cassette. Ceramic speed oversized pulley wheels. And if you saw from my first video, I ended up going and ordering the 25 millimeter tube type, I'm running latex tubes, some challenge latex, latex, latex tubes. Got a 5236 chain ring. 0 setback seat post going with the specialized Roman Evo S work saddle here again nice carbon touches on the saddle to kind of blend into the frame Got a gloss carbon 3k weave rails see that awesome flicker decal See all that awesome carbon in there. The 100 mil stem, 42 centimeter bar width, it's a size 54. Came in without pedals. As you see it here, 16.25 pounds. So obviously the crank set is about 180 grams more than the Altegra that was on this, uh, that was spec with this. So right there alone, you know, you put some 45 mil depth wheels on here or anything more shallow, uh, you're definitely gonna be under 16 pounds. No question about it for a, we'll call it an aero bike, which is rare. I mean, you don't see aero bikes hitting these, uh, hitting these weights. Chain stays. can see the PPF film here and then we laid up chain guard on top seat stays they do have a D shape to them they're pretty skinny uh, but they do have a an arrow profile to them as well looking at these compared to my system six they're definitely going to be more comfortable uh, providing more comfort on the ride Massive bottom bracket. You can see here the energizing channel that they created in the fork underneath to help direct the airflow through this, uh, factor's calling it a wide stance fork. So they spent the time to kind of design a fork that can accommodate up to 32 millimeter tires. Um, but also they designed the airflow to more or less kind of go through the fork opposed to around the fork. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of manufacturers, you know, account for, you know, airflow through the fork, um, but they spent a lot of time, you know, designing it and accommodating the aero profiles to more or less kind of go around the fork so 
Uh, again, you can really see this fork as you're sitting in the cockpit here. You can see the carbon layup. So looking forward to, uh, to riding it in a little bit. Today's a nice day in Jersey here. It's gonna hit about maybe 68 degrees. So I'm gonna try to get out this afternoon so I can report back with some ride impressions here. And you can see how wide that fork stance is. beautiful shapes awesome well i'll certainly update you go with a uh, ride report hopefully today thank you so much for watching i ask you to please subscribe uh, as i will be posting more videos about this factor and kind of doing a mini part series so i really appreciate the uh, views and your time and uh, again please like and subscribe be well thanks